My name is Gemma Watts, I'm a research manager at AHDD and I'm really interested in looking at ways to forecast and manage disease risk. Disease risk is affected by many different factors such as varietal choice, the region that you're in and also by the weather. Recently there have been concerns over the future availability of chemistry through the development of fungicide resistance and also through potential future legislation and varietal resistance offers a really effective means of managing your disease risk. AHDB provides independent information on varietal susceptibility and resistance to the major serial and all seed diseases through disease ratings presented in the recommended lists. However, we know that disease populations can change really quickly so that varietal resistance is overcome. Therefore, monitoring activities are essential. A monitoring activity which AHDB supports is the United Kingdom Pathogen Virulence Survey, which aims to identify any changes in cereal, rust and mildew populations at the earliest possible opportunity. We've also been doing extra and earlier disease assessments on our untreated recommended list winter wheat and winter barley trials to identify any such changes and also we've been linking these disease assessments to observations of disease development in commercial crops and making the results available on the website to give an in-season regional picture of disease risk. Weather is another factor affecting disease risk and development and in recent years we've seen an increase in the occurrence of extreme weather events. This really highlights the importance of pinning down the exact interactions between the weather and disease development so that more accurate predictions of future risk can be made. AHDB has a network of weather stations at trial sites across the UK and we're making this information available on the website. It's also being used by researchers and to develop new disease forecasts such as the Rosmersted foam forecast which can be used to help guide spray timing. If you'd like to find out more about our monitoring activities, please see the monitoring area of our website. I will be at Serials in June 2015. If you'd like to come and talk to us about how our monitoring plans can play a part in your integrated disease management programme.